he's like, guys, we... Welcome, friends, to an ArcDiscovery.com update. We just returned from Turkey a month ago, where we were first in Israel with our tour group, and then we came over to the Noah's Ark area. We had a great time out there. Got to see a lot of exciting things. And uh, while we were out there, I was able to get some drone footage. We'll look at that in just a moment. Uh, drone footage of the Ark. But uh, we've had a question come up regarding which end of the Ark would the anchor stones be attached? Some of you have seen the anchor stones before. They're very large sea anchors that hung off the end of the ark with a hole drilled near the top where a rope could be pulled through and then it would be attached to one end of the ark. Now if you go on Wikipedia, it will tell you which end of the boat where they should be attached. And it's to the bow or to the front here and this would keep the front facing the oncoming waves. The pointed front, the arc was made with a pointed front for a reason, so it could pierce the waves that were coming in. And by having this weighted and having resistance in the water here, it would allow the stern to come in perpendicular to the oncoming waves. And so God, I'm sure, designed that, told Noah what to do regarding the sea anchors, and... Uh, so that's how it helped the ark to survive these huge waves during the storm. Now, as I say, we returned uh, from Turkey a month ago. We got to go out to the ark site, and we got to meet with an archaeologist while out there. Our next update, we'll go into that in more detail. But uh, he's very excited about the site. And uh, I took my drone, and we are able to get 12 minutes of some nice drone footage of the ark. We'll go over a few brief uh, elements relating to the ark before we show the drone footage and then we'll go into the 12 minutes of uh, drone footage. So here we'll start that. So we're here in eastern Turkey. We can see Mount Ararat to our left. We're driving through the valley here. That's not our destination. We're looking for another location. It's actually down the road from Dagobah, is it, the city? It's about 12 miles out of the city, and we see this road sign, Nuhin Gamishi, or Noah's Ark, five kilometers up the mountain. That's where we're headed. And we're heading up the mountain road here toward the Ark site. We can see again Mount Ararat to our right, and we're climbing the mountain. After about five minutes or so, we see the real Noah's Ark to our left here. And this was declared a national park in 1987, and the Turkish government built a visitor center overlooking the site. And so it has been recognized as the Noah's Ark location. And while you're there, you can sometimes see some tour groups getting out and taking a look at the Ark. It's the exact length as stated in the, in the Bible. If you use 300 royal Egyptian cubits that Moses was familiar with when he wrote Genesis, that's the exact length. It's quite amazing. And then you see about 12 miles away, there's a village where sea anchors were cut off by Noah, uh, released from the ark. Ropes were pulled through the holes there, ropes tied, and they were probably fastened to the bow or front of the ship to help keep the pointed front facing the oncoming waves. Here's one out in the countryside there. So very interesting to see these giant sea anchors. Here's some 
Mediterranean area would have been used on smaller ships and then there's a nice uh, metal rivet that the late Ron Wyatt found containing 8% aluminum metal 1.5% titanium metal and we were able to locate two more and they also have the same percentages of the same man-made metal aluminum metal and titanium metal so this shows that this site is in fact a man-made formation it is the real Noah's Ark and here's a deck timber that the late Ron Wyatt found it has three distinct layers top and bottom layers appear to be pecky cypress the gopher wood mentioned in King James is is really cypress wood and that's what we have here and so we're getting ready to take off now with the drone to take a look at the shape of the arc from overhead
Okay, I hope you like that. Uh, got some good HD drone footage, taking a careful look at the beautiful shape of the ark. Man-made shape, looks just like a boat. But uh, we have another tour going to Israel starting in April 18 next year, 2018. We'll be going to Israel, going to traditional sites in Israel, including Sodom and Gomorrah, the crucifixion site, the garden tomb. We'll be going also down to the Red Sea crossing in Egypt. That'll just be a one day trip right there. But uh, so you'll get to see a lot of exciting things with traditional sites. You get to go around Jerusalem, go to the Sea of Galilee, up there, Capernaum, Caesarea, Tel Megiddo, Masada, the Dead Sea. So check that out on arcdiscovery.com. You'll see a link there for the tour. So check that out. And of course, remember we have our nice book, illustrated many color photos of the discovery sites and our Journey Back to Noah's Ark DVD. And then our second edition, Revealing God's Treasure. So check those items out. But uh, until next time, this has been an arcdiscovery.com update, and we'll be back in the next few weeks with another update. Take care. God bless.